Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP. Today we're heading back to Normandy, France, June 6th, 1944, for a game of bolt action. Since today is the 76th anniversary of D-Day, we've decided we will do our annual D-Day game. It's a game of bolt action. In this case, we're going to see a mixed force of American GIs fresh off the beach who have linked up with a small force of American paratroopers. And they are assigned with gaining a foothold in the small village of Perno. So we're going to be mixing up some books here. We're going to be using some rules out of the D-Day Overlord book. And the mission we're going to steal out of the Battle of the Bulge book, which is going to be the Battle of Foy mission. Now the reason I did this is uh, most of the um, missions in the D-Day book are beach landings, which I don't have a beach, I don't have landing craft, or there's a lot of airborne, I don't really have a ton of airborne models either. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a mixed force of airborne uh, and regular troops against the Germans. So as stated earlier, the mission is for the Americans to gain a foothold in the town of Perno. So this uh, mission is going to be played long ways along the board, which is different for bolt action, especially for us. We usually play uh, short way. But uh, uh, the board is going to be broken down into three zones. Each is going to be two feet. So zone one is going to be from zero to two feet up, two to four zone two, four to six zone three. And the Americans are going to be deploying uh, their first wave up, uh, is it up to or... Uh, American player must designate at least half is the first wave. So they can have the entire force come in. But first wave is not going to be right off the edge, it's going to be deployed up to 12 inches up. The Germans, meanwhile, are going to deploy half of their force in zone 2 and half of their force in zone 3. Outflanking will be allowed for the Americans. Uh, the only difference is that they'll get a 12 inch head start. So instead of deploying, you know, half up. I think it's an extra 12 or something. I'll have to look that up, but uh, they're basically going to get a 12 inch jump on the normal outflanking rules. So the objective is to capture the Rat Bastard, which is that building there. Now, the normally, this is a modified version of the Battle of Foy. Normally, there's no uh, there's no requirement to take an actual objective. Uh, it does say to clear the uh, town of Germans, but in victory, uh, if one side scores two more points than the other, they have a clear victory. So the Americans score one victory point for each unit in zone two at the end of turn four. Turn four, not turn six. And a further one victory point for each unit in zone three at the end of the turn. And we're also going to say if you can capture uh, the rat bastard by the end of the game, then you're going to get three victory points right there. And this game is a little bit longer. It's going to go eight turns uh, instead of six. Terrain-wise, we're going to be using the Bocage rules from the uh, D-Day book. So the Bocage is going to be hard cover, and it's going to be impassable to vehicles and artillery. And you can also not be seen unless you were adjacent or right up against, against it if you're shooting through or against. Obviously, if you're up against it, shooting out, no cover. But if you're up against it, you're going to get the hard cover instead of soft cover, which we normally associate with vegetation. All the houses are going to be hard cover. We got some dense uh, terrain here, dense terrain here, dense terrain here, and uh, a little bit of dense terrain right here as well. Fields are just for looks, nothing special for about, about those. Meanwhile, over there we got a small orchard. That's going to be line of sight through. It's not dense terrain, but there's going to be soft cover if you're shooting through it. And obviously the stone walls are going to be hard cover as well. As far as these fences here, it's going to be a two inch visibility and soft cover. That'll do it for the mission terrain. Let's take a quick look at the forces. So here we have the American force. So in the Battle of Foy and the uh, Battle of the Bulge book, uh, which the mission comes from, it states that the attacking force should have 20% more points than the defenders. We've actually bumped that up to about 30% for this one, since we've added the added objective of having to actually take a building instead of just occupy zone two and three. So we'll start off over here with the uh, grunts, the American uh, just regular infantry portion of the list. So in command we have Lieutenant Beersford. He's going to be a second lieutenant, regular. All this, uh, yeah, all this stuff over here is regular. So Beersford, him and uh, one guy with SMGs. We got two 10-man squads, two BARs, SMG sergeant. I'm sorry, we do have a veteran unit here, a veteran engineer unit. 
with flamethrower, two BARs, and a SMG sergeant. We have a uh, light mortar, I'm sorry, medium mortar with spotter. Uh, we have the forward naval observer, so this is one of the units that we're using out of the new D-Day book. Yeah, it's just a um, regular artillery observer on steroids basically, it's about 50 more points. Uh, but when in the in game, when this thing fires off, we'll go over what it does, assuming it ever does fire off. And we also have a sniper. And over here, we have the airborne straggler detachment. So we have one unit of uh, paratroopers, eight men, LMG, rifles, SMG sergeant. We have a veteran paratrooper pack howitzer uh, with uh, gun shield addition. We have a paratrooper light mortar, another bazooka team, but this time. Um, this is going to be a uh, veteran paratrooper bazooka and then we're going to be using the rules for Lieutenant Spears but this is going to be Lieutenant Stratton commander of the small detachment. So Spears from the uh, we're using him his uh, his stats from the um, uh, bulge book but we'll just assume that all the qualities he had in bulge he had here maybe his le his legend hadn't grown as much but we're going to use it anyway. Uh, so he's 175 points he's a lieutenant uh, but he's a natural leader, so he gets the all the stats of a captain. It's also a man of reputation. So uh, he may remove one pin marker per uh, activation from a single friendly unit within 12 inches. So that's really good. He's also unkillable. So if he is to die, uh, he will, on a d6, uh, roll a 4+, plus, he doesn't die. So very expensive unit, but got pretty good uh, special rules and we don't really play special characters very often but should be interesting and that's the American force that's about uh, 1200 points here we have the defending German force uh, so the uh, couple units from this are from the D-Day book as well uh, we'll start off up here we have a lieutenant Vesterman he's defending the uh, leading the defending platoon uh, Vesterman and one guy with assault rifles regulars uh, second lieutenant we have a regular sniper. I believe he's regular, or he may be veteran. I think he's. I think he's veteran. Veteran sniper. We have two groups of the new squad from the book Fusiliers, basically regular infantry, but that can have more submachine guns than normal. So we have two groups, uh, two extra guys with submachine guns on top of the sergeant plus a light machine gun. And this Fusilier squad at the end only has just the sergeant with submachine gun. Then we have another unit from the book, a Green Grenadier squad. SMG Sergeant LMG. Each of these has one Panzerfaust. Um, oh, I, I did not mention that the Americans in, in this scenario are not allowed to bring vehicles, but I still gave them a Panzerfaust each, just for historical accuracy, I guess. <laughs> Even though I knew damn well that there wasn't going to be no vehicles, but whatever. Uh, moving over here, we got two MG30, uh, MG42s. We have a medium mortar with spotter. We have a 7.5 centimeter howitzer light artillery piece and we have the Lorraine, Lorraine Schepler which is a uh, light tank with medium howitzer uh, cannon on it and that's also from the uh, uh, the D-Day book as well and this is about 300 points less than the Americans uh, we'll see how it goes uh, traditionally attacking has been hard in this game trying to get anywhere once the pins start coming out and you start failing orders it just bogs you down uh, so we went a little bit further with the uh, point disparity between the two forces, but I think with all the hardcover from the hedges and the buildings and very little HE on the American side, aside from the naval bombardment, of course, uh, they should have some pretty good firing positions to try and keep the uh, Americans out of the town. So that'll do it. Uh, that's the briefing, and now we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so Andre's here. Steve has made his return to the Nerd Cave. He's battled his way through pandemic and riot to get here. That's how dedicated he is. That's right. So for being so brave, he's going to be playing the Americans. Andre will be playing the part of the Germans. So Andre's deployed uh, his entire force. He has one of his Fusilier squads up here, two SMGs, MG42. MG42, another Fusilier squad, two SMGs uh, up against the wall on the hedge. He's got his sniper, spotter for his mortar. What's that over there? The third that's fuselier? That's a big man, uh, green crew. Oh, that's... Not a two-man crew, okay. but a green crew. <laughs> the green grenadier squad's in there. 
last squad of fusiliers is here and the motor is kind of right next to the rat bastard over there the last line of defense yep meanwhile steve deployed half of his units or at least half a sniper and a spotter for mortar which is here the uh paratrooper squad paratrooper uh, lm or light mortar paratrooper cannon and stratton uh, slash spears is there and that's it so steve uh, you want to be the bag man? Here we go. Start in turn one. So at turn four, we'll have to stop and count up who ha or how many uh, units Steve has in zone two. And I forgot to mention at the beginning also that Andre has to, uh, he's going to get two victory points for every um, uh, unit that he kills of Steve's. And finally, <laughs> Trying to get all this stuff out and trying to, as I remember it, um, I forget what I was going to say now. Well, they're anyway. on Overwatch. All right, so Andre's using the first die to put that MG42 behind that hedge in Overwatch. These guys are on ambush. Uh, pull a die. <laughs> <laughs> We're a little rusty here. <laughs> Maybe we should let Andre be the bag man. Another German die. So Andre's going to fire the light howitzer into the... Uh, Paratrooper squad, Nina 4. He missed. Long range, 20 over 24. It's a tough team. shot. That guy standing right. right out in the open. That's real tough. <laughs> <laughs> Stratton's going to activate. Uh, uh, not yet. So first, Stratton. Uh, he's going to use his um, Do Your Thing Boys. <laughs> I always forget the name of that rule. <laughs> that was it called. Anyway, uh, first he ordered these guys because he's a captain. Or the profile of a captain. They ran up, and Andre's going to spring his uh, ambush with that MG42 long range. Two hits. So you roll these. I roll Andre. these. Yep, even fives. One dead and a pin. So anyway, this guy sprinted over to here, and he's got a couple more dice he can issue. So uh, Stratton's going to have the light or medium mortar fire on to this fusilier squad here from this spotter. In the six. That's not a Negative. Six. And then he's got one more plus you can move Stratton himself. Stratton's going to order the light howitzer to lob a shell and indirect on this MG42 over here. No. All right, Andre, if you can grab another blast marker, please. Blast him away. And then he can always uh, do something for himself as well if you want to move him. Yeah. All right, so that's four dice, all from Stratton. And the Americans again. So you can always put these guys down, but you probably want to do stuff at this point. So yeah, going down. Somewhere. Sniper is going to fire at this machine gun here. Needing a three. No, shit. Wow. Got lucky. That's two misses now. So the next die. Howitzer's all missed. Mortar's all missed. That's kind of summing up to be the way this game was last time. <laughs> was it? <laughs> Alright. So Andre's going to fire his mortar from the rat bastard via the spotter. And he's just within range of that light howitzer over there. It's a miracle. You got can't it. see it. Woo! Oh no! So two inch template. So uh, obviously hit all three. So roll three dice. You got two of them. Roll that six again. No, nope. so two dead D3 pins. One. All right, Steve. Then a uh, morale test, please. At minus one. He's in his morale, though, right? If he, is he within range? Yep. Oh, you're good. So you got a guy left. One guy left on the howitzer. Next die. Germans again. Andre's going to fire the Lorraine Shepler cannon at that airborne bazooka squad. Direct fire. It's a miss. No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that would have been ugly. Damn, another German dice. He's going to fire the machine gun from the Fusilier squad at these guys. Long range, soft cover. Two, Two hits. hits. 
on the fives. Nothing but a That's pain. Not two fives. Insane heroism. You get but to bring that guy things. back to life. <laughs> You're all two ones. Resurrection. <laughs> That's a resurrection roll. On the four plus, he resurrects. Hey, hey it's a steal. If you hit a seven, what the hell? He's uh, advanced his bazooka up into the grass, and he's going to fire down this line with the bazooka. He missed seven against the hidden Ooh, troops. I don't know if I mentioned got that. got half a seven. I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but the uh, Germans start hidden, which means if they don't fire and they're in cover, they're at like minus four to hit. Another German died. Fusilier squad ran this direction. Now we've got his MG. And a couple of rifles up against the hedge, looking down the edge here. Next guy, Steve. <laughs> wow. Well, maybe your next turn you'll get all yours first. <laughs> Possibly. Wonder is going to start putting stuff on ambush, he says. He's put his green grenadier squad on ambush. Green. Steve just ran his uh, light motor up against the barn there. He's pulled another die. He's going to move his. Regular bazooka up behind the light motor. Another German die. Ambush. Right, Andre's putting the sniper on ambush. Down. Now Steve's going to start putting his outflankers down. Another German die. Wow. Andre's put this uh, leader squad back here on ambush. Another German die. Put uh, Vesterman on ambush. Vesterman's going on ambush too, apparently. It was 18 inch range. <laughs> American die, and now we're here. Put all the rest of his there. American die. Do you uh, have any? Get him out of are the you bag. just going to put him on ambush? Or you... Oh, he's got one. Depends guy. on what's in range here when I. Uh, when we finish it up, our, do you have anything else on the board to do? Is that the way to see? Okay. I don't think he does. Well, all you have to do is draw one more uh, oh, die, just... and we'll figure it out. All he has left is his uh, naval. You know, I had this great observer. idea with this forward observer. Yeah. I like the idea of just putting right on top of that sniper. Yeah. yeah. Flush those bastards out of there. Yeah. So the naval shore party is calling in the guns on the sniper. So, like, where do you want it? Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna blow off anyway, so it really doesn't matter. So shore parties called in the uh, naval smoke right there. So he's got uh, quite a few targets here, right in this, the uh, down or the outskirts here of Perno. And I think that's it. No, Andre's got these guys left. And I think that's the last die. The last die, Andre just pulled the uh, MG42 off the hedge, which also gets him out of uh, almost getting shot by that, uh, or getting range in by that light howitzer. And move on to turn two. All right, on or uh, Steve, we'll see with your. Uh, Naval guns arrive. D6? Yep. Uh, they're delayed. That's a cock die. Come on. I would have fell on it too. But it's, you could actually move it six inches if you want, but it's probably fine where it is. Right. But Unless you might I start moving. moving it out of there. Yeah, you might be flushing him out. So. That's desirable anyway. So. Okay. so do you want to so move it? Leave it? What's that? You can move it or you can just you can move it, it there. six inches. In the direction. As, what's the diameter? Is it? Nine plus D six. Uh, so he's just going to leave that. Uh, he's just going to leave it there. So first die, Andre. All right. right. That's me. Andre is going to fire the mortar to see if he can finish fire. off. Woo! Yep, he does. So just any, just roll uh, anything but really. Kill the last crewman. Yeah, he's dead. So that's two points for Andre. Andre gets two points for every enemy unit killed. Okay. And Germans again. Use leader squad here with the machine gun and one rifle up against the hedge. Attempting to fire at these uh, airborne bazooka team, but he went down. Ooh, Ooh! My. That's a hit and a half. Seven. No. You got close, though. You got close. <laughs> <laughs> you got halfway there. Three a times. near miss. <laughs> it's a near hit. Another I German die. Andre Sniper just got to the bottom floor on a full move of a six, getting out of the rubble. <laughs> Another Andre is saying he doesn't want these dice. I don't. What Steve? That? Well, I guess Steve don't really care. You can't see anything. He can't. So. Well, he's the one that's got to come to me though. So. Yeah. Um, so you're having to do all the moving. The Green Grenadier Squad has run out of the building. 
They don't like that <laughs> ominous smoke what's, cloud hanging over what's there. What's this really. mean? That's uh, that means that Steve's turn. What? Steve's gonna use the spotter. He's gonna fire his uh, 81 mil mortar at that fusilier squad. No. What? But it could cause them to start moving. All right, next die, Andre. The next die, Andre. Another hit. You had awesome. your turn, Steve. Back to <laughs> tripod mounted MG42 is going to fire six shots this time at these guys. I cheated Andre dice last time, so three hits. Assuming he didn't go down and I missed it. Nope, I didn't. Oh, we got one. Roll that six again, Andre. Nope, another dead and then, man, so they're down two guys and they got three shock. Prime candidate for a rally. Next die. Hey, look at the Germans again. We'll shoot them again with five. Okay, five with the light M. Still not going down. We well, still got, uh, you got some rifles. Oh no, you're over 24, right? Yeah. Okay. Still not going down, he needs to rally. Uh, two hits. Oh my god, another dead paratrooper. Got the four pins. Oh man, he's down to machine gun. Got Beersford and hey. two riflemen. Hey, an American. Here with the howitzer. <laughs> Steve's gonna rally the squad of paratroopers. Come on, Beersford. No, that's. I don't think they're getting. Schmitty. I'm sorry, Beersford's the lieutenant. He's still off the board, isn't he? No. That's just a sergeant of the uh, airborne. They pass. Okay, so there's one for that, and then you roll a one, of course. Yep. That's typical. Uh, <laughs> well done, Steve. <laughs> well worth. Uh, typical well worth. rally. Typical rally roll. Typical Travis rally. <laughs> hey, look at that. Let's try again. Steve again. American sniper has run out of the bushes and flushed him out. He's headed up towards zone two right now. Americans. Stratton, defying all the advice from the mortar team, has leapt the hedge. And he's standing out in the open, defiant. He can't die. He don't care. In his mind, he's already dead. So I got a howitzer. Hasn't fired yet? Nope. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> All right. How it's there against Stratton? Small team, long range. Small team, long range. That's long five. range for a howitzer? Over 24. Wow. Okay. Nope. He missed. Stratton don't care. No. Yeah, the howitzer Not the has a little the... trouble ranging in on that <laughs> open <laughs> spot on the board. <laughs> Should have fired in direct, you would hit on a five. <laughs> Another uh, German dice. The Lorraine Chepoir is going to go on Overwatch and cover down the extreme edge of the board for any outflankers. Next die. Oh, sorry. Andre's the bag man. Oh, messed up there. Bazooka team has went down. Okay, you're not going to run up. Interesting. Steve again. So he's got a bunch of stuff on. Uh... He's got to run down. Okay. So Are the you, mortar went is down. Is everything going down? <laughs> That's pretty much from pretty now on. Much, yeah. I was going to say, do you have anything else to do? I don't think he does. Uh, I think he's done everything. No. You got four more dice. I've got three dice. Yeah, there's four over there. And you have three, so you got two here. You got Vesterman and a squad. And a machine gun. And these. So with the last dice, Andre moved this MD42 running out that direction. So let's move Vesterman and these fusiliers back up against this head to get the position. As you notice that Steve has a ton of outflankers and we want to turn three. So we start turn three, you've got to check the naval barrage. It's coming in. See how big it is? Nine plus three. So the naval barrage, a 12 inch template, it's going to hit the sniper, the spotter, the mortar, and the Lorraine Shepler. So let's start with whatever you, you prefer there, Steve. Sniper. Okay. That's four. Okay, so that's D3 pins. So three pins on the sniper. Alrighty. To the spotter. Ooh, six. that's going to be a heavy howitzer hit. <laughs> <laughs> so put a six next to him. We'll resolve that in a minute. We'll I don't that. just take him off the board. <laughs> well, it might hit the the sniper too with a four-inch template. We'll see. So go ahead and roll the uh, sp so three D three pins on the sniper. Two, two pins, pins on the sniper. No, that's on the. Uh... The, can't, the howitzer. Oh, Two pins on the howitzer. Yeah, where's the yeah. sniper? I'm, I meant the mortar. Sniper's right there. The mortar. Oh. 
So that was the Shepler. Damn, it didn't knock it over. It has a chance to actually flip it over, but it didn't. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a heavy howitzer hit on your motor, Andre. <laughs> <laughs> so roll three dice, huh, uh, Steve. You know that's plus six pens, so anything but on those three guys. Oh, just one die on each, right? Yeah, because the template. So. Oh, wait, start with the motor. The three okay. guys on the motor. Oh, oh, there's, there's one guy. Okay, now I'm following. One dead. Okay, it's, they're all dead. So, they, so the mortar's gone. The orange temple. Well, actually, on this spot. Actually, the spotter's gone. <laughs> we took the mortar out, so the spotter left. <laughs> <laughs> Typical so you can't move. Yes, so I'd, rather, yeah. I'd rather resolve the spotter first than. Oh no, you already the resolved. <laughs> you <laughs> already <laughs> resolved the. Uh, roll right, the so roll the sniper. Just one dice. We'll compromise. No, give, no, give them two dice. It's All right. geez, they're hit. They're dead. They're then. gone. So Andre lost his mortar and his sniper to the naval barrage. That's brutal. Now we begin turn three. But he doesn't get anything for... No, he doesn't get any points for killing you. Actually, I lose that die, right? Because that guy... Well, I guess I can run him off. But... No, he can... You paid 150 points for that guy. You bet your ass he can get up here and score some points. <laughs> <laughs> not like Andre and his free observer that he tries to run all over the board like a maniac. If it's a free observer, Travis is not quite so <laughs> no. forgiving, polite, hey, or you otherwise... Pay, you pay 150 points. <laughs> you want to run him up there, go ahead. All right. Hey, and, you, and a first die. Let's start off with Stratton. He's first going to order these boys to pass an order. You're oh man, oh, so close. Fine. So he's down to one. Because wow. he's a plus three, Stratton, since he's a living legend or whatever. So we're going to advance into the trees. So first thing, uh, the remnants of this paratrooper squad have moved into the woods. And they're going to open up on this MG42. Oh, plus I got one pin, and so a pin. It's sixes. So long range move, pin. Oh man, you almost so a, close. You almost got a six on all the dice combined. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this guy's at least got a shot in this game. Yeah, at least I got a shot fired. Hey, hang on, don't they pull fired a shot. Quiet. Yeah, Stratton's still going. He's okay. a captain. Mortar, second shot on the fuselier's needing a five. Oh, oh! I saw it, man. It was just hanging there. All right, and then Stratton's got one more on top of him, his own. Can you? So Stratton just moved himself up. He also ordered the uh, shore party to run around towards the mortar fire, and then. So Stratton's done. The airborne bazooka team sprinted over to the hedge there. I think they're now in sector two. Germans. So is gonna fire, he rotated the machine gun. He's gonna fire at the bazooka team, needing sixes. Got one, one hit. Needing a five. Nope, nothing but a pin in. The bazooka team had moved up here. Next die. So Americans again. So don't forget, Steve. At the end of next turn is when you have to be in zone two for to give me points. So Andre, or <laughs> Steve's popped out the uh, two-inch mortar or the the light mortar for the uh, uh, paratroopers. He's going to fire a shell into those fusiliers. So why not? I gotta roll a six one of these days. You will. Just, do. just some turn people. six. Oh, actually, I rolled a six on your mortar. You got I'll, five I'll more turns. You know what? I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> Germans. Green, uh, the green grenadier squad has gone on ambush. That's you. So you got a ton of outflankers. Which you might want to start bringing in at some point. So Steve brought one of his outflanking units in. A regular infantry squad here. Andre has an ambush, or a, yeah, two ambush units. So let's start with the big boy here. So you got two pins, right? Yep. Minus one for the soft cover. So you need a six. So just Oops. one die, huh? I'm needing a six. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, no. No. That's a three inch template. So since he's firing through such a small gap, I'll we'll just say he hits four guys, anything but. Actually, it's indirect, right? So that gap really doesn't matter. No, it's not indirect. No, it's, oh. I think he's too close to indirect right there, actually. The indirect minimum on those medium howitzers. So it's four dead. And then it's D3 pins, I believe. So two pins and three dead. The green grenadier squad is also going to fire it. Some of those green guys are long range. Okay, we'll sort it out. We'll say everything but the machine gun's sixes. 
So five, five shots needing five. So here's the five fives. Whoa, three sixes. Three hits. And then the rest are going to be sixes, including yeah, the SMG. Yeah, if you're rolling sixes. So how many? Sh two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven shots, all right. You get a shoot that. Three more. Wow. I thought these were sixes. Oh, I'm sorry. Never mind. Zero more. <laughs> <laughs> so three hits on him. And he is regular, so just fours. Oh, shit. Okay. Yep. So two more. So that squad just completely... No, I only got six of them. And another pin. So you got... You're going to have to... No, you're not going to have to take a test because that was two different shootings, not one. Oh, man. So one infantry squad has been blasted. <laughs> wow. So he's only needing five, so we're saying no cover if you're both in it. So he's got two hits. And they're regulars. So one dead, possible. No. Let's Just a dead in a pin possible. on the Fusilier squad. Over here. But that American squad got rocked coming in. But it is clear if he brings another squad in over there now. They were, just, off over they were just clearing out <laughs> clearing out some room. Yeah. They were the squad that got in trouble back, you know. They had to do that for their uh, punishment. Go clear out the Overwatch. Uh, <laughs> engineers have come in. After these guys cleared the way for them. <laughs> Usually it's the other way around. The engineers are clearing the way for the infantry. <laughs> yeah. The infantry clearing the way so for the engineers. But. The uh, engineers would be hitting on... So he's come in, he's going to fire at the Fusiliers. Yeah, because there's no movement penalty. I'm going no. down. Okay. So he's going to go down. So let's do the flamethrower first, Steve. So there's a three plus. Oh. It's, a D, it's a hit. D6 hits. So four, four hits. hits. Anything but... Oh man, two sixes. So four dead from the flamethrower alone. Wow. Just roll those now, I guess. Another one. So you, you can choose one of them. So the rest of the nine shots from the SMG, the BAR, and the rifles. Needing fours only because of down. Not a very good roll. roll wow. Up. Two. So needing fours Woo. for their regular fusiliers. Oh, shit. Wow. He's already killed the machine gun. Okay. So, so he you, killed the machine gun. My sergeant's left. Two more guys. So you got to take a uh, morale test, obviously, Andre. My sergeant has to do a morale test? <laughs> yeah. Why? He passes. Wait, how many pins did you actually have, though? What did you roll? What did the flamethrower No, do? the flamethrower does more. So what did you roll? Six? Before we figure out if you pass the test or not, D3 plus one. Of course, I don't think you can fail with a six. Even with the... Yeah. Okay, so so I've pins. got two pins. Two pins. Turns out the unbridled terror isn't quite as uh, <laughs> not as terrifying as we thought. thought. So my sergeant is unbridled enthusiasm in there, and he's down. So you've lost the rest of the squad. He's down to his uh, sergeant with two pins. He's a hero. He might earn. He might earn the Iron Cross tonight. And they're down. He's down. He's down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all by myself, guys. <laughs> there's there's no they about it. Uh, uh, next day. Besterman uh, has just put himself and these fusiliers onto ambush to cover this side. And now I'll move those guys. And another German die. He's going to do something with them. The fusiliers uh, ran back this direction. Next day. Americans. Another squad has come in here off of... Uh, over or off link. They're gonna try to mow them down, but he's got uh, some shots over here. So he's got four shots. I gotta roll these separate because I could be putting out two different. Uh... Yeah, so you got six shots four from the uh, saw rifles, two from these rifles. Long range, soft cover. So there's the four. Ooh, shit. Three hits. And there's the two more. So four, four total hits. hits. Four total hits on these guys. And that's two uh, pins. That is two pins, yes, because uh, that's two different units. And two dead. Two dead. Roll that six again. Right, two dead, two pins. And now he will open up on those. So the machine gun will shoot now. So that's one pin, right? Because it's the same unit. No, it's two because no. you got the leader and the squad. But this machine gun can't pin you because you already took a pin from this unit. Oh, okay. 
machine gun's just not long range. So two more. So he's overperformed with the long range. I'm gonna perform with the well we got two more. Okay, two more dead. So those guys are hurting. So yeah, four Steve down made a mistake by uh I think he made a mistake by bringing them in before these guys when he could have brought them in. Of course they would have still got shot either way, it doesn't yeah. matter, but at least he wouldn't have the two pins when he well, was Well, he couldn't have done it before because those guys were still up against that edge. That's true. But now he's going to have a minus two for the two pins. Yep. So it's going to be... Uh, Nine shots. Yeah, minus, just minus two, really. That's it. So it's going to be fives. Five of them are actually within point blank, so they'll be needing... Uh, fours. Fours. Three hits. And then the rest are going to be needing fives. Which is going to be uh, three more, four more, four more shots. So two more hits. So five hits. Fours to wounds as there are regulars. One dead. <laughs> so I'll just take a guy out for you, I guess. Thank you. And a pin. Hey, you took a casualty, Andre. I took another casualty. That's my second uh, infantry. Oh wait, no. Okay, so they're they're you down. Got they got wiped over here. Yeah, you got a problem over there, but you do have. I've also got a couple shuffler. solutions over here. You got a squad. You got a Lorraine shuffler and a machine gun. Germans. This machine gun here. He's gonna rotate to get these guys within his arc. He's gonna fire, so it'll be moved. Soft cover and he's alive. Are you shooting at the unit that just came in? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh man, five hits. Five hits. <laughs> wow. Oh, shit. All right. So needing fours. Fours. Oh shit! Four more dead. Oh my god. These guys are gonna have to take a morale test at minus three. So do a morale check. Minus three. Uh, you're a regular sergeant. Yeah. Those yeah. Are not yeah they're, it. So they're just gonna run off. They didn't like what they. Uh, Saw when they got in. So another two points for Andre. Next die is another German die. The howitzer that's in the trees here is going to fire around into the woods with these paratroopers. You realize I can't miss, Steve. A four. I don't have a choice. I mean, I'm kind well, of stuck. No, I mean, um, I couldn't hit anything in the open. So now that I've actually got a target in cover, I'm thinking I can't miss. All right. Yeah, you nailed them. That's a two inch template. Uh, that's definitely going to hit one, two, three, four guys at plus two. Actually, let me see that, Andre. Uh, three guys. Three guys at plus two. Only two inch template. So, threes. Two dead. We roll that. Oh, oh. shit. Machine gun, sergeant. Mm, machine gun. So, machine gun and what, two others? All right, D, three pins. So just one more. He only lost two guys, so it's not a morale check, but he's down to two rifles and his sergeant with two pins. Next die. Three guys and sergeant. Two, two guys. And Steve's got the last three dice. He's got Stratton over here. So he's technically guys are not part down. of the squad. So Beersford is still off the board going down. Are you sure about that? Of course, if he's going to come in on this side. <laughs> <laughs> that might be not a, not be a bad idea. <laughs> Shabby Nazi tricks. Not if there's a booby trap. Hang on. Beersford did come in over here. Yeah, he also ran his sniper up. Because the end of next turn is when we're going to start computing points for Sector 2 Americans. And what do we have left here? Uh, Steve's got a couple no dice in his hand. Okay. That's it then, huh? So that's the end of turn three. We move on to turn four. Turn four. Steve's uh, shun the bagman rule. Sure. Bag shunner. Germans. The experience squad has advanced, got within point blank of the engineers, and they're going to fire and need fives. Brar. One, two, three, four. Four hits. Needing fours. Two. two. Oh, God. Normal six. 
Now, Why not? <laughs> see, you forgot to roll to see if your flamethrower ran out of gas. Oh, I guess it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't run out of gas. So roll a roll a d6 just to see. Oh god, I hate to say it, but anything but. <laughs> anything but what? Okay, he didn't. Anything but that. a four. <laughs> okay, so they took a pin and they lost a couple guys. Next die. Germans again. So you have this. You got your machine gun here. Those guys haven't gone yet, have they? No. Nobody's gone. That was the yeah, first be, die. It'd be kind of nice. Oh, kind of nice Americans could go. So Andre's going to rotate the machine, machine gun. Turn. He's going to fire at the uh, well, engineers, I think. I'm actually. He's rethinking. So he's going to rotate the machine gun. He's going to fire. Needing uh, something. Five. Three hits. Three hits. Yeah, because the hardcover and moved. Great Andre's rolling well. So he's got two, two more, dead uh, one dead. They're veterans. Oh, one dead and a pen. On the engineers. All right, next die, Andre. Okay. How many dice can I pull in a row? <laughs> oh, not enough. That's an American die. So Andre's mortar? Steve's mortar. Or I'm sorry, Steve's mortar's going <laughs> to fire on these guys here. See if you get a lucky hit. Yeah, you got no, one. No, that was an unlucky hit. That is a lucky two incher. Two inch, two inch mortar, two inch template. So I'm two guys hit. One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> five guys. Five guys, yeah, he's packed in, okay. Uh, anything but. Wow. This could be a game changer, maybe. Uh, Just oh, give me three is. points though. Makes, right? makes it more fun. <sighs> One but. Oh, and you got two sixes. All right, so it's four dead and D3 tens. Pin, so I they already have one on them, so yep. I'm up to three. Yep, and it was at four dead. Yep. Andre's pulled two of the SMGs from this Fusilier squad. He's got a sergeant, a machine gun team, and three pins left. If Facing rally, off against two, a bazooka team here. What's up? I didn't realize you were recording. If you rally, does that put you down? Or are you basically exposed at that point? No, you're not down. No, if you rally, that's what you're doing. Yeah, it's not. That'd be sweet, though. Like, you rally and go down. <laughs> well, you can go down, stay down, and remove. Yeah, uh, that's true. But then that's the next turn that you're down you're, again. Yeah, you're eating a. So that's two turns down. So this guy's American engineer is. Uh, they passed the order, they got a pin left. They're going to move up and see if they can barbecue some green troops. We're going to turn into regulars here in a second. Or be dead. If you hit with the flamer. So you need a four because you got the pin. You mean it's a 50 50 chance? 50 50 if the flamer goes off. Did he roll for his fuel yet? Yeah, he did. Well, the last turn. Oh, he missed with the flamer. Damn How does he, he run out of fuel? How do you miss with the flamethrower? You, so you advance up not. and trip and flame the wall. So no, still, still got fuel. Still got fuel. But he does yeah, have two BARs and a six submachine gun. So hitting on <laughs> something not very high. Threes? I'm going to say threes. He's got the pin. Oh, Roger. So four shots. Four, four hits. hits, but they're green, so only threes to wound. Because they're inexperienced. So four dead. Two sixes. So four dead, Andre. Okay. Now you do get to roll your uh, your green thing here. So roll a d6, and we'll see what happens. Well, one is. Does, does that go mean up? Uh, does they go down? I don't lose as I think many. Five or six, right? Is that right? Oh, that might be a good thing for you. That might be. They might be regular. So so that, what well, was five again? You go up to regular. Yeah. yeah. So he's regular now, but he's still got to take a test for that regular uh, morale. So he's good. Oh, he's so good. He would have been good either way. Yeah. So we got a half a squad of regulars now. And the next die. Uh, Germans. He's got pins on him. Oh, yeah. If I pass the, yes. uh, He's going to try to fire the Lorraine Shepherd, but first you got to pass an order. That two pins. So I'm like, I'll decide if I go down before you. He'll decide if he goes down. I thought he already decided. That's <laughs> because I thought you'd already passed the order. Yeah, he does. I did. So he's going to go down with this regular squad. Oh, it's too late. So now you need a six now because he's down. And how hard, hard can it be? How to beat a, the impossible roll. Ooh. Five. 
Close. Good thing I went down. Whistled over, but he is down, so pull a green die for him. But he is in zone two, so he should be able to score a point with them. Actually, you should get a couple points here for these two units. Actually, zone two starts what? Zone two starts 24, yeah. Yeah, they're all pretty much up here. Well, he will be if he moves up. Oh, he's already there. <laughs> uh, German you might want to measure again. Try to pass an order with the lone sergeant of the Fusiliers. I don't think you fail already. Seven. Ten. You got it. Seven, eight, nine. You only got two pins, right? So. Yeah. Yeah. That's not a nine, though. It's an eight. It's a ten. Huh? What are you talking you about? You needed a nine, and you oh. got an eight. Eight plus two is ten. It's eight minus two. Yeah, so he failed his order. He actually needed a seven. He rolled an eight. So he's just going to go down. He was going to assault those down uh, infantry guys in, uh, in the torture there, but he decided to Maybe, it. maybe not, but uh, anyway, it doesn't he didn't have now. to worry about it. He failed didn't have order. to figure it out after all. Another German die. So what's left of this squad here is going to try to pass an order with three pins. Yeah, they do. Almost. Wow. Heroically. Terrible. Almost. We were almost insane. They were almost insanely heroic, but they stopped short. <laughs> <laughs> That's my move. <laughs> okay. So what are you going to do now? Um, I'm thinking we'll just waste the bazooka team. We'll try to waste the bazooka team. How hard could it be? It could be hard. Oh, we're because we got... They go down. We got two pins. Hard cover. What well, if we... Well, no, I would say... You don't get hardcover because you're you deliberately went off of it and he's up against it. So technically, you're in the open. But you can go down, and he does have two pins, which would be sevens right there plus small team. So Andre's going to hop the hedge, hedge hoppers, and he's going to. Well, uh, did you pass you? Yeah, you passed the order. Passed so the you order. lost a pin. So you're down to two. All right, he's going to assault. Yeah, I took he's going to assault the. Uh, Veteran bazooka. Veteran bazooka. So he gets you get to go first, Andre, since he's in the open. So you get uh, three attacks. Roll one separate because a tough fighter for your uh, sergeants. My tough sergeant. Oh shit! He's it. My tough sergeant. Yeah, tough sergeant killed the bazooka. Everybody. Team. Okay. <laughs> it's over. And regrouping. That is a tough battle. One inch. So is that enough to jump back over? Well, no. Well, I guess he's now. Just leave him there. <laughs> okay, so he killed the bazooka team. That's another two points for Andre, which might put this game out of reach <laughs> at this point because Steve is getting really low on forces. Let's look at his dead pile here. That's a lot of dead dudes. Next uh, next guy, Andre. Americans. All right, so Stratton, uh, he was able to activate the remnants of this squad, giving him his plus three... They did pass the order. They lost one. They're going to charge what's left of these fusiliers here. Well, hold on, though. That's two different units, so... Well, he's not He's not in the fight. He's too far okay. away. It's just going to be these three paratroopers against your three guys. Okay. But you are in the open, so go ahead, Steve. Uh, you have one tough fighter, so roll him separate, needing a four. So that's one dead. Roll that again. So one dead. So one of these guys, and then you got two other guys there with rifles. Two dead. Threes? Fours. Oh, yeah, you rolled a three and a four. four. Yeah, you got a one four. Oh, and you two got dead a, total. Yeah, total. Okay. All right, so you get to attack back, Andre. With my tough fighter. With your tough fighter. So Steve just takes off two guys. If you roll two fives. Oh, shit. Oh! You oh, got one. One guy down. Okay, so Andre lost the combat, so these fusiliers are just toast. You can do a D6 consolidation, Steve. Oh, and you shed all your pins, right? Yeah. <laughs> Back in the day, you would have shed your pins, but not anymore. So, I'm just gonna... so the uh, paratroopers have cleared the fusiliers out. Do you have anything left, Andre? Oh, yeah. What do you have left? All oh, you got all these guys here. There. I got the machine gun, I got the howitzer. Actually, the machine gun could... Well, no, did you consolidate right up against it? Nope. Nope. So he stayed off, so you can't see him. That's All okay. Right. I can uh, see that uh, dude laying out there. <laughs> <laughs> Next guy. Steve, Steve gave me two more points Stratton's to shoot hanging. at here. Stratton's just, hey, he survived a howitzer at the beginning of the game. You don't care. 
He already thinks he's dead. All right, on to the uh, machine. The machine gun's going to turn and face and fire at the shore party, who is still on the board. So a small team moved, probably long range. Shore oh. party, ahoy! Two hits on shore party here. Shore party lives. <laughs> I think he is within zone two, right? He made no, it. He no, it. Oh, he didn't make it. He's like an inch out, sadly. So he's not going to get any points. But he short, takes a pin. The shore party takes a pin. So next die, and then uh, another dead German unit. Actually, go ahead and draw another one. This was true. Okay. Stratton. Okay. American die. What do you have left, Steve? Oh, I got all my guys. Oh, you got Beersford. You got the sniper. I think that's it. Everyone no, he's over. got no, bazookas, mortars, oh, yeah, he's got pigs, all kinds of crap, cows. Who's going to leapfrog this one? Okay, next die. Another one. Uh, the sniper moved up. Beersford's going to hang in his own two. Another American die. <laughs> the light mortars advanced. He's going to fire at the now regular. Of course, I can't fire over my own guys. I thought you said. That's indirect. It's indirect. Just the fact that we're four feet apart doesn't really matter. Don't matter. <laughs> He's a hell of a shot. He'll land it right there, <laughs> if, if he wow. So that three, that means it was short, right? <laughs> yeah. It's six inches short, and it's right on the guys. German and die. German so die. So actually, the shore party had activated uh, from Stratton here. That's how we got up here. These guys are just going to go we'll on pretend Overwatch. we're defenders. All right, Vesterman's going to go on Overwatch. So they're just going to hang. I had to stop Andre. He wanted to charge forward and do his normal Andre thing. You get the last die. So my howitzer, can I see anything other than... Your light howitzer, I think, can only see shore party with his arc. Okay. So we're going to fire on shore party then? Actually, what about all these dudes? Mm, I guess you could see Stratton. You want to fire on Stratton then? No, he's indestructible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the fire on Shore Party then. Shore Party. So you're going to need a small team, so just a four. Yeah, Shore Party's hit. <laughs> uh, anything but. Pink mist. <laughs> a pink mist of Shore Party. I don't think yeah, there was even a mist. <laughs> I think it was just a cloud of dust. <laughs> okay. uh, Shore Party's been destroyed. My last die, I'm going to shoot on your guy there. With, with the bazooka. bazooka. All right, bazooka on to the last sergeant he of didn't the move. Fusiliers. I don't know what the... Hardcover, small team, sixes. At least. He's down. Oh, he's down. So seven. seven. So another oh, six. another six and you got no it. No problem. Oh! Hell yeah. That's a hell of a sniper oh! bazooka. <laughs> Anything but. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Perfect sequence. Uh. <laughs> All right, so Steve's going to concede. At this point, it's clear he's never going to make it to the rat bastard. Uh, he's lost way more than half his men. He doesn't have enough punch to make it, so we'll come back and uh, wrap it up. So in the end, the Germans were able to hold uh, Perno, the scratch uh, ad hoc force that attacked the Americans didn't quite uh, punch through. So, um, yeah, I think Andre or Steve, you would have had, you still would have had quite a few points. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Actually, you would have had eight points against Andre six, but it is turn four. <laughs> We're halfway there. <laughs> We're halfway there. Uh, Andre still got his Lorraine Shepler. He still got a full squad plus Vesterman. He still got a machine gun, a howitzer. And another machine gun. And then Steve's running on, I mean, partial squads. The, the biggest hitter he has left is that uh, engineer squad, which, who knows? I mean, he if we get... played it out, he might get lucky and make it to the rat bastard. We don't yeah. know. It's unlikely, but it's possible. And the thing's possible, but... Uh... More than likely, he would uh, get to swing with it one more time, take either the uh, green, no longer green team, Regular. or the machine gun uh, out, at which point uh, they would probably, well, I would like to think the howitzer would vaporize him at some point. Um, Maybe. I mean, you got three pins here, but then I've got three pins, but the machine gun is sitting there pin-free. Yep. 
Plus you got another machine gun, another howitzer. I mean, yeah, it's it's not happening. Well, so the how it, yeah, I can't fire much other than the machine gun in here, but getting across that nine inches oh. was not. Uh, so pretty much, uh, even down 300 points, the defenders on this particular map, like Andre said, the terrain is laid out very nicely for a defender. Uh, he's definitely not wrong about that. Maybe too nicely. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, the, the scenario did say to have sparse sort of cover, heavy cover, kind of in those three zones, and that's how I set it up. And yeah. I mean, the, the actual rules only call for a 20% difference. This is a 30% difference. Because I added the Rat Bastard, which isn't part of the original mission, uh, but uh, maybe more like 50%. <laughs> Even at 50% with this much hard cover, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that if that Lorraine Shuckler didn't hit on that Overwatch shot, and he had a full squad, and it, it might have been a different game. It, I think I that have, shot might have. Been I'd a actually difference. have to be shifting, and I'd yeah. have to reinforce this side. But then, or. I just let that go, and you still got to get out of here across. And yeah, and he didn't have any bazookas up there to fire on that Lorraine Shepler at all either. So I don't know. I I think I still think that that Lorraine Shepler hitting on that uh, two pin ambush, <laughs> two pin ambush. <laughs> the old two pin ambush. That was the, that was the difference. Because if Steve would have had a full squad plus the squad engineers. Over there, I think he got a cleaned house. Yeah. You would have been... I mean, you still would have had shots with the Lorraine Shepler, but you would have missed at least one. Who? I don't know. It would have been a different game. It, it would have uh, given Steve a shot. That really just took the wind out of the yeah, sail. big time. And then he missed with the flamethrower shot on one uh, one time, too, so that wasn't good. But uh, So what do you think, Steve? Oh, I like the map a lot. I uh, I think uh, hindsight being twenty twenty, I would put all the uh, outflankers on the same side. Uh, Overload. Yeah, maybe maybe not put all of them in on the same turn. Uh, it's really hard without vehicles to advance infantry, <laughs> uh, especially with a lot of open ground like this. Yeah, I think I think maybe the one suggestion would be you gotta have some cover on the on the. You know the side coming in. Well, there's there is. I mean, you got trees. You can hide behind. You got a fence. You got bocage. But, but, uh, uh, but yeah, all in yeah. all, I think the, the, I think yeah, I could have played better. Um, I could have rolled better. I think Andre had the advantage at the beginning. A lot of a lot of really good rolls. A lot of good dice pulls. Um, but uh, yeah, I think the big miss was. Not having all the Overwatch coming on the same side, or not Overwatch. I'm sorry, yeah, the outflank. Yeah, uh, definitely, well, and definitely <laughs> having double Overwatch on that yeah. side. Yeah. Which you did, uh, you know, you had those in guys come in and clear it out for the engineers, which well, worked out well. Out that worked for the infantry to spring the Overwatch, and then the engineers to come clean up. Well, except for getting hit by a howitzer shell. Right. <laughs> that sucked. But even over here, I think you made a mistake, Steve, when you waited until they got on Overwatch before you came in. But no, like we he, were talking about, even he, then he still he got shot. He couldn't because I had the unit back up against the Eds. So if he came in, he would have had to have come in over, over here. there. Which would have been fine. Well, except I had the two machine guns right up against the edge there. Yeah, but two machine guns, I'd rather face that than two assault rifles and machine True. gun. Two but rifles. it would have... Um, at that point, it would have uh, these guys would have been freed up to go support the other side or move yeah. up. Yeah, but yeah, well, like every game of bolt action, I mean, it can go. I mean, just depending on the rolls that happen during. I mean, yeah. that's why you roll the dice, right? I mean, you don't know what's going to happen. Even with three hundred point advantage, Steve. I mean, he conceded. I don't know. I don't think he could have possibly won, just with the amount of uh, firepower Andre had left. But who knows? If we played it out, it could have maybe swung Steve's way somehow. Yeah, I think I would, I would have had fewer small teams, too, because when Andre's got a two-to-one advantage on kill points, having so many small teams is, well, is, is a challenge. Well, the small teams are also an advantage, too, though. I mean, just because each one that's in zone two is a point. Right. I mean, it's plus it's... It's only it's half like, as much. two points for killing them. Yeah. Right, but, I mean... 
it's how well can you protect them. How well can you, yeah. That's exactly. really what it came down to was you had no way to, uh, you had no set of crossfire, um, you had no supporting fire at that point. You know, all you could really support was the engineers, but we were both so beat up over here that uh, you really couldn't defend what you had. It, having the small teams just really didn't, wasn't uh, the bonus it could have been. Yeah, it's hard when it's a kill point. What are you talking about, man? You got one, two, three. You got three points off small team. Almost four if short party would have lived. Actually, no, he was a couple inches short. Never mind. Anyway. But I lost two points for short party to get killed. That's true. I only gained one point by That's getting true. into zone two. Yeah, he tried to do a rush with the short party to get him up within, but he didn't make it, and he, he died. But anyway, yeah, so I thought it was a fun game, but I still think it's, even at 30% discrepancy in points, it's still too hard for the uh, attackers. It's just, attacking is damn hard in this one. I mean, they give you a, they give the defenders a concession in this one for the 20 point difference, but it probably should be even more. I on, and we've talked about this a lot in the past that to realistically balance things, you're probably looking at a 50 point or 50% difference. And at that point, I think it really kind of becomes an overwhelming, your chances of just getting overrun as the defender, it, you know, are go way up. Yeah, if somebody's going to win, <laughs> they they're just going to barrel nice through, <laughs> or you might wind up with a balanced fight. But I think this is just a near impossible uh, type scenario to really balance out and have good, even pitched battles on a consistent basis, just because it is so hard to attack into well defended ground. Yeah, especially in this game. the naval bombardment as a mortar that you can fire every turn. <laughs> that would help. That, that, that could have uh, <laughs> been a bonus. Because it, it makes it harder for the defenders to dig in when they know the mortar shells oh, yeah, raging definitely. in on them. Cool. Um, but, but uh, yeah, so anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up now. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you have any suggestions for improving, we're always looking to ways to uh, modify existing um, missions such as this to make them better. I think this one could be better. Still still fun, though. But yeah, uh, cool. anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, as usual, check out our Facebook group. Check out our Patreon page if you want to see what's going on here uh, behind the scenes and get some um, extra stuff. Uh, check that out. And uh, as usual, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.